Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that f of x equals 4x cubed minus 7x minus 3 and asked to find out the remainder when it's divided by x minus 2. And there's two ways that we could do this. One is a quick method by the remainder theorem. The other one is slightly slower by algebraic long division. I'd encourage you to do the remainder theorem, but what I'll do is both methods here for you. So just as a brief reminder, what is the remainder theorem? Well, essentially, remember that if you've got a polynomial f of x and it's divided by x minus p, then the remainder is f of p. So if we're to find out the remainder when this is divided by x minus 2, then p would have to be 2. So let's just say that by the remainder theorem, give it some kind of intro, Okay, by the remainder theorem, What we've got is that the remainder will be equal to f of 2. And so all we've got to do is just let x equal 2 into here. So we've got 4 times 2 cubed minus 7 times the 2 minus the 3. And if you work this out, you've got 2 cubed, which is 8. 8 falls to 32 minus 14 minus 3. That comes to 15. So there's our remainder. Nice quick way. I did say though that you could do it another way and that is by algebraic long division. So uh, I'll do that for you but I wouldn't really encourage you to do it uh, by this method but uh, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll do x minus 2 into okay, our polynomial here. 4x cubed now notice that it hasn't got an x squared term, so what we do is we fill that with a 0 there, 0x squared. And then we've got our x term, minus 7x, and then minus 3. Now if you're not sure of algebraic long division, do check out the videos that I have on this. Anyway, so assuming that you're fairly familiar with that, all we do is say what do we multiply x by to give us 4x cubed, and that has to be 4x squared. Multiply the 4x squared with x minus 2. 4x squared times x is 4x cubed. And then 4x squared times minus 2 is minus 8x squared. And now we subtract to find out what the remainder is. So we've got 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is 0. No x squared minus minus 8x squared is 8x squared. And then we bring down the next term, minus 7x. And we start all over again. What do we multiply the x by? To get 8x squared. And that's got to be 8x. So we put 8x up there, and we do 8x times all of x minus 2. 8x times x is 8x squared. 8x times minus 2 is minus 16x. And we subtract again to find out what that remainder is. 8x squared minus 8x squared, well that's going to be 0, and now we have minus 7x minus minus 16x, which is going to be 9x. Bring down the next term, minus 3, and then we start all over again. What do we multiply the x by to give us the 9x? It's got to be plus 9, put that up there, and then we do 9 times all of x minus 2, which is going to give us 9x minus 18. Subtract now to find out what the final remainder is and we find out that we've got 0 here minus 3 minus minus 18 is 15. And so that's another way that therefore we can get our remainder. So if we did it that way I'll just summarize by saying therefore the remainder equals 15. Okay